have I met through Song Fu an awful lot. What? I can't give you a figure, there's, there's just there's lots, okay? A lot. Okay, let's put it this way. Out of everyone that I know online, apart from the people who I know in real life, who I've met before, who are friends of mine, apart from them, of virtually every single one, virtually every single one, of my online friends, of which there are an awful lot, I would easily say past 50, anyway, at least, uh, when you're looking at, at the regulars on the Jonathan Colton boards, the Song Fu, uh, the people that come into the Joe cast, uh, and the Too Much Awesome boards, 90% of them I would not have met had it not been for Song Fu. Everyone in TMA I would not have met had it not been for Song Fu. Uh, Travis I would not have met had it not been for Song Fu. I would love, at one point, to do a Joe tour and come to America and do America and Canada just to meet some, you know, of you wonderful, wonderful people. Uh, and I know a lot of people, you know, I was, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, oh, everybody loves it to be on online. I hold a great deal of stock in the friendships that I've made through Song Fu. Uh, I've tried to explain this to Ken Plume and whereas I'm sure he understands what I'm saying, I don't think he fully believes me. But Ken, if you're watching this, I've said it to you in private. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have these friends. I wouldn't have the outlet that I've got for my music in the same way. I wouldn't have access to the collaborations that I've had. I would not have been part of the entire new model art, uh, artist framework if it wasn't for Song Fu. That's basically it. I'm probably going to have to say the 10 word song because I thought the idea that I had for the 10 word song was pretty good but it just didn't work out for whatever reason uh, so that has to be the, uh, the most challenging because it's the, the one that I'm least happy with so by that it, I, I could only say that it could be the most challenging because it didn't work. Uh, the least challenging in so far as having a finished piece was concerned, uh, was probably doing what makes you feel happy because the lyric just came out like that and musically I didn't have to do too much with it, so it wasn't very challenging in that respect. Um, but yeah, the, the, that, that, you know, for whatever reason, those, those are the two. The ten word song, because it just didn't work, so it it wasn't up to the challenge, frankly. Do what makes you feel happy because it came very easily to me, personally. Collaborations with others I enjoy. Uh, the only challenge is that most of the people that I try and collaborate with or do collaborate with are on the other side of the Atlantic. Um, and the, the five hour time difference alone can make it difficult because, you know, people work. Uh, by the end of their working day, it's really getting quite late. It's pure luck that at the moment, my working hours themselves do have me on a, a very, very late night uh, schedule, I suppose, and a shift pattern, my sleep patterns all over the place. So that's been kind of lucky in that respect. I do like bringing other people in on things that I've done. I like getting other people's opinions. Uh, on early demos in, in the, the Too Much Awesome chat room, there's quite few people in there whose opinions I respect, uh, some of whom aren't particularly known as being musicians. Uh, and, well, to be honest myself, I don't think of myself as a musician. I'm a wannabe musician. I've got great ideas and I've got brilliant tunes up here, but I can't get them out. And that's where collaboration is great for me. The only challenge with it is, well, there's two really. The fir first one, because everybody is on the other side of the Atlantic, is getting them on, on board in the first place. And the second challenge is trying to put across 
what I'm hearing and making them figure it out, if you know what I'm saying. The best, I think, realisation of anything that I had was actually my very first song, Foo Song, uh, Doing What Makes You Feel Happy, where what I did was put down the vocal just as a, a guide track. I put a beat behind it and a rough guitar, but even then I wasn't entirely sure you know, what chordage to be playing for the guitar for it. And a musician, keyboardy, pianist person called uh, Borba Spinotti took that and did an amazing uh, instrumentation of it, multi-instruments, all MIDI, and it sounded brilliant. It made the song, quite frankly. Um, I, I still like, I mean, I, I can now play it on guitar as a song, but it's nowhere near as joy, joyful as the version that Borba put together. And putting myself, putting the kazoo solo in the middle, I think just put the, the caber on it. Um, so yeah, I, I love collab collaborating with people. I do it as often as I possibly can, and I'm always open to collaborating with anyone who feels I can bring something to any one of their projects as well. Song fight. Um, this is where I hold up my hands and say I'm only recently become aware of song fight thanks to Travis. Uh, I've not looked at it enough to totally understand how it works, although I'm assuming it's something similar to song fu, and I may well uh, drop myself into song fight at some point. That's a very difficult question to answer without sounding egotistical. It really is. Um, I didn't agree with all of Sammy's review. I've got to say that first of all. I did not agree with all of it. But I've spoke to Sammy about this. Uh, I like Sammy a lot and Sammy's very, very forthright. But forthright to the point of being destructive, frankly. Um, but the thing about Sammy is that he can also give advice. He rarely tears down for the sake of tearing down. Um, and when he singled me out almost solely uh, for unbelievable praise for Song Fu 5, I was like, okay, go me, but um, what about everybody else? You know? Uh, so it, it, was, it was a nice feeling and it was certainly a nice analogy to be uh, you know, so you're like Eddie Murphy saving Saturday Night Live. Um, I wasn't sitting there thinking, hey, I'm the saviour of Sun Fu. Far from it. Uh, what, what I find amazing is that since I've won Song Fu, the, the amount of people who have come out and said, you know, oh yeah, we've always thought that, you know, you should have been the master and you should have won this and you should have won that and uh, you're, you're, you're exactly the type of person that Song Fu was made for and it's, it's, I don't know, I, I, it's just, it's, it's, it's nice, there's no two ways about it. You, you can't say, oh yes, all, all that praise, oh God, because it makes my heart sing. And because, you know, you, you, you try to be a little bit modest about things, it's something I'm not very good at. Uh, I'm not good at being modest because I'm not a believer in hiding your talents. And it annoys me when people who I know have talent don't use them. Yes, I'm talking to you. Heather, Chelsea, Lisa, hiya, sorry, Alisa, hiya, get singing and enter Song Fu.